Chris, that means nobody can be talking besides the person that's getting interviewed. Okay, Chris, can you tell us how, how it went down on the bridge? Yeah, um, well, I mean, basically what happened was we were all marching. Uh, this was one of the bigger marches of the week. Um, it, it was the evening march of uh, Saturday, um, and we were walking uh, basically to the Brooklyn Bridge, and the cops uh, started walking alongside and basically allowing people onto the bridge, or so say the people that were up front who I uh, communicated a bit with. Um, uh, there were people that were on the pedestrian pathway, and there were people that were in the bridge itself where their cars were driving. Uh, we were originally filed into about a car lane, and we weren't really taking up traffic as traffic had stopped on that lane anyway. Um, and very quickly, the cars were stopped uh, by police, and um, the, the lane suddenly opened up, which caused us all to start running because we had to close the gaps. And then there was about 200, 300 police uh, that either stopped the rest of the protest or followed up the back of it. Uh, and they were basically just mar marching in a line up the back of the Brooklyn Bridge so we had no exit. Um, then uh, up in the front, the same thing was happening and they started bringing in trucks from both sides, uh, buses, uh, like regular transit buses, uh, as well as paddy wagons, and uh, netting. And so we were all uh, conglomerated into the center of the bridge, or you know what probably was the center of the bridge, um, at which point uh, people started being really confused and uh, no one panicked, everyone more or less remained calm, but there was a lot of mic checks, there was a lot of confusion about what was going on. There was uh, a movement to sit down and lock arms uh, when we realized that we were all going to be arrested. Uh, this movement was given up, especially uh, because apparently there was some uh, police violence, but I don't know that, I can't confirm it. Um, I was several hundred people deep into uh, the, basically the middle of this and we were being pulled off uh, from both sides. It took about four hours or three hours or something along those lines to uh, fully evacuate the bridge, um, which was completely unnecessary. Uh, we spoke uh, through the people's mic to the NYPD, no response, um, explaining that we just wanted to cross the bridge, there were a chance to set us free, let us go, um, and that basically the, the police were responsible for shutting down the bridge and it was a trap to arrest all of us.